up guys it's your girl Brian. welcome back to the channel <laughs> okay so basically today you guys i will be discussing um this journey come on go with me on this journey so i'm gonna post this video today is saturday but i'm supposed to be getting ready to go i don't know so today is saturday but i'm supposed to be getting ready to go somewhere so i will post this video tomorrow but i'm going to start my journey tomorrow so we are supposed to be going to alabama law said the same thing doesn't happen the first weekend the fourth of july no, not really a weekend but it's gonna be through the week it's gonna be like the fourth of july so fourth fifth yeah and we're gonna come to six so basically um for you guys on that don't know i'm from Centralia, mississippi but we're supposed to be going to alabama for our family vacation so today is um saturday june 8th and i am trying to start this diet journey again now a lot of people have been in the comments under that vapor rub video and asking me um you know to touch base back up on uh how i look and whatever whatever uh i did a video answering questions but you should uh you didn't really get to see how i look so basically my stomach is uh i, I didn't keep it up you know i'm just gonna be honest uh i didn't keep the dieting journey up i didn't keep the water fasting up either uh so i'm here today because i am trying to do uh, a diet journey um and this time you guys uh we're gonna try to burn up to 40 or more pounds uh if not 40 we're gonna do like 30 or more but in my caption i'm gonna put 40 because that's what i'm going for i'm really just going to trying to be up under 200 pounds so we're going to focus on uh doing better with our eating habits and um not so much focus on exercising we're going to work out but we're not going to work out as much as we're going to you know work on our eating habits so basically i'm going to put um the meal plan and everything this is the video that i was supposed to be in there, you guys so we can touch base on you know about the foods and stuff to eat and all that so i don't want to talk to y'all today i'm going to get straight to it so basically for beverages i'm going to focus on drinking water um milk and maybe tea or coffee or maybe orange juice those are maybes mostly focusing on water and milk because the milk is for the protein and vitamin d and um the water is just strictly for everything you know what i'm saying um dr focusing on drinking on we're gonna focus on trying to drinking more than focus on drinking more than four cups of water a day okay let's get to the meal plan so let me just pull up some things on my phone uh, I don't want this video to be too long. So, um, basically, you know that for your meal plan, you are supposed to uh, do breakfast, uh, lunch, and dinner if you don't do anything else. But now, people get to the point where I guess they complain about, like, they get hungry in between time. Like, now, they have breakfast, snack, then lunch, then snack, then dinner. Now, I'm going up here to this meal plan so that we can discuss more things about, um... How your menu is supposed to be set up so for breakfast you are supposed to have a fruit you're supposed to have a fruit a carb, protein and a dairy in, in a fat you don't need that much as fat so we eat a lot of fat throughout the day anytime we sitting up eating cookies and milk and uh ice cream and uh burgers and chicken and fries and all of that we don't need that much of that i found that out so basically you do need it you do need it because you need your energy, you need your carbs. So that what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on cutting off uh, ice cream. We're gonna focus on cutting off fried foods. Uh, so I guess I can say no starch, no starch, no uh, no ice cream, no sweets. You know, you don't need any of those. You just gonna we're gonna substitute those for fruits and veggies. So basically for breakfast, you need a fruit, a carb, protein, a dairy, and a fat. And we're going to get down to things that are fruits and dairies and fats and everything like that. And then like if you want, it's up to you. You can do a snack and uh, for, uh in between breakfast and lunch. and Or you can do a snack in between lunch and dinner. And then you can do a snack after dinner. See, most of the time for me, if I eat breakfast during the day it'll take me on up to lunch almost dinner time before i get hungry again you know and i'm grateful for that so but for my people that get hungry in between that time 
For your snacks, you're going to focus on fruits and vegetables only. You will not be eating any sweets. You will not be eating any starch. You will not be overeating nothing. From, from starting tomorrow on up to the first week in July, what I'm going to do is keep touching base with you guys each week. Because I do have stuff going on too, but I'm just going to be mostly focused on uh, things that I already be focused on. You know, uh, school and this. Uh, so... Um, now let's talk about, um, things you can eat. So for people that probably be confused on things that are all that are like fruits and veggies, uh, I'm going to put a list up here too. Uh, It's a lot of fruits that help with your hormonal balance, that help with your uh, taste buds, that help with your skin, that help with your hair. It's fruits and vegetables is just very important to the body. I'm just going to keep it 100. Uh, you don't need so much of it. So uh, you just want to focus on... Uh, small portions i found out that when you eat better and you take care of your body better you uh i don't want this video to be too long it's my already 10 minutes you you do better by yourself so basically for an example for breakfast you can do like an omelet and then that's like one to three eggs we uh fried and onion, like with onion and peppers and then you can do like uh two slices of wheat toast and you can do like um one tablespoon of butter those are very small portion you guys i'm just gonna be honest you do not the, the breakfast that you see on online or that you see what people do with when they have a full plate of food and they have their juice and they have their muffins and all that you do not need all that <laughs> i'm just gonna be honest you don't need all that you don't need all that you are not supposed to do that if you are trying to lose a lot of weight like me if you're trying to lose a lot of pounds fast don't need all of that food so and then when we get down to lunch uh as i said before like a salad you can do like a salad for lunch and what people don't understand what a salad is you don't even need anything else for a salad all you need in your salad really i don't even i didn't got to the point to where i don't even put meat in my salad but if you want to, you can put meat in there. You can put tomatoes and cucumbers and uh, eggs, and that's a salad. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else do so much for a salad. You don't need that. And I found out that that right there is good enough for me. I when I had started that job, I was uh, taking a salad. I was working like for six hours, six or seven hours, and I was like doing a 30 minute break. I would take a salad and a peanut butter sandwich to work. And that will work out for me. And when I mean like a peanut butter sandwich, I would mean that it's like uh, one or two, not uh, I put it on a knife, not a spoon. So I would say it probably was like one or two tablespoons of peanut butter, one to two, and uh, it was on a one slice of bread, and or I'll do another slice, and then I have that salad right there, and then I have my water. But that was it, you know. And I lost weight like that. I got down to um, I think I lost like over four to five pounds in one day because I was working as well but um now I'm just gonna say that yeah that's like for example so if you have any questions or comments or any concerns put them in the comments or let me know follow my Instagram I'm gonna touch base with you guys and mostly I'm just gonna be honest I'm just gonna put like meal plans and stuff in here and uh so you won't be confused on what i'm saying and what i mean by what you need yes you have to measure your portions but that's what we focusing on we focusing on doing right we're focusing on our fruits our veggies our protein and we're limiting carbs period you know what I'm saying? So starting tomorrow, I'm gonna keep touching base with you guys. You probably I'll probably be on my social medias. I don't know. I'm mostly gonna touch base on YouTube. I'm gonna come back this upcoming Sunday to report to you guys my progress. But I'm starting tomorrow, so I'm gonna try to get this video up tonight or tomorrow morning. I just want you guys to be focused and be waiting on it. So that is it. 
I'm just going to say this last little thing for your snack. You can do like an apple and you can do a little bit of yogurt. Do not eat the whole cup of yogurt because I think like yogurt, unless it's fat free, but like regular yo plate yogurt, like the strawberry kind, I love that kind. Any, any kind, I think it's like over uh, almost 200 calories. It's like 175 calories. We are not going to eat no whole cup of yogurt. I can't say the same for fat free yogurt. I've, ate, I've eaten fat free yogurt before. It's not bad at all. But for if you want to do the fat free yogurt or if you want to do the yogurt plate yogurt, I would say two tablespoons with your apple. No more than two tablespoons for a snack. But like I said, I'm not doing the snacks. But this is for my people that want to lose. If you want to lose up to 30 uh, or more pounds or 40 pounds, you're probably not going to be doing the snacks too much throughout the day. You're going to be putting yourself on a strict diet like me. And you're going to have to focus, you know, uh, get all the snacks out of your house. All the ice cream, all of your go-tos, you know what I'm saying? When you see it, turn the cheek. You, It's just, uh, you got to do it for us to lose this weight. So hopefully, I've been lost up to almost 10 pounds this coming Sunday or more. And it, um, I feel like I'm doing something. I can lose 10 pounds in three days. When I was on that water phase, I lost over 10 pounds in those three days. So, hey, we might be losing. We may lose more than what you think you know what i'm saying we may lose more than that you know so hey i will be back you guys let me know whatever questions that you guys have love you guys and stay tuned your girl will be back soon with the upcoming updates